Hello everyone. Welcome to Creative Biolabs. Today, we'll talk about the monkeypox drug and vaccine discovery. We will discuss four parts, including the background of monkeypox, monkeypox drug discovery, monkeypox vaccine discovery, and Creative Biolabs monkeypox services and products. First, we will introduce the background of monkeypox. A new zoonotic illness called monkeypox is brought on by the monkeypox virus, which belongs to the family Poxvirides orthopoxvirus genus. Monkeypox symptoms include a rash, fever, and swelling of the lymph nodes. Additionally, patients may experience a variety of side effects, such as secondary bacterial infections, respiratory problems, bronchopneumonia, gastrointestinal problems, dehydration, sepsis, encephalitis, and corneal infections with subsequent vision loss. No specific treatment for a monkeypox virus infection currently exists. Recently, we are experiencing rapid globalization of the monkeypox virus in a short time. Monkeypox has infected more than 77,000 people in more than 100 countries worldwide. Currently, two drugs are approved by the FDA for the treatment of smallpox. Tecoviramat is currently being recommended for some monkeypox patients. The drug stops mature virions from being enveloped by targeting the viral VP37 protein. However, the drug has suffered from availability issues. The second approved drug, Brincidofovir, is an oral antiviral. But the drug's efficacy against monkeypox was called into question by a recent clinical study in which patients did not show benefit from treatment. Mutations have enabled the virus to grow stronger and smarter, evading antiviral drugs and vaccines. To better identify and control the current monkeypox outbreak, efforts to develop drugs and vaccines are critical. The second part is the monkeypox drug discovery. Before introducing monkeypox drug discovery, let's first understand what a drug repurposing strategy is. Drug repurposing is also known as drug repositioning or therapeutic switching. This method is used to find novel therapeutic agents among the existing FDA-approved, clinically used drug molecules. It is considered an efficient approach to developing drug candidates with new pharmacological activities or therapeutic properties. As drug discovery is a costly, time-consuming, laborious, and highly risky process, the novel approach of drug repositioning is employed to increase the success rate of drug development. Repurposing old drugs seems like a good idea against the monkeypox virus due to the emergency of the actual situation. The figure depicts the workflow for drug repurposing targeting the monkeypox virus. Initially, some structural details of monkeypox virus protein sequences can be found in the Uniprot database, such as cell surface binding proteins, E3 ubiquitin protein ligases, etc. These can be used to build 3D models by using protein modeling web tools, by using a homology approach, or by generating sequence-based 3D structures. It is essential to build several 3D structures with different targets since it is impossible to predict the target for every drug investigated. Following that, it is crucial to perform the structural relaxation of these 3D models using molecular dynamics simulations, and a robust macromolecular system can be obtained for further investigations. Subsequently, large datasets of ligands can be obtained from the FDA database and then these can be used in a molecular docking study. Then verify the effectiveness of the repurposed drug through experiments, and finally publish the validated results. The table presents potential drugs for monkeypox targets. A recent study published in Molecules investigated the targets in poxviruses through the process described above, identified the active protein residues in the monkeypox virus and subsequently proposed eight potential antiviral drugs. The repurposable drugs, corresponding to the A48R, A50R, D13L, F13L, and I7L genes are NMCT, rudocarpine, nilatinib, cimprovir, hypricin, naldemidine, fostagrocarat, and lixavaptin, respectively. 
The drug structure can be seen from the pictures in this table. Then we will talk about the monkeypox vaccine discovery. The picture shows the workflow for vaccine development targeting the monkeypox virus. The development of a monkeypox vaccine involves an analysis of the viral and host genomes using sequencing and bioinformatics to identify potential targets, the cloning and isolation of candidate epitopes, testing the immune response in animal models, and finally conducting clinical trials with the lead candidates. The world will likely need more than one type of approved vaccine to combat the monkeypox pandemic, with an assurance of broad target population coverage, production quantities, and storage and transportation requirements on top of vaccine safety and effectiveness. The picture shows four different vaccines and their ways of producing immunogen in cells. The inactivated vaccine results in a broader spectrum of antigens when it is taken up and broken down by cells. A protein-based vaccine produces a more focused response to a targeted antigen when it is taken up and processed by cells into multiple epitopes. A viral vector vaccine delivers antigen-encoding DNA to cells and enhances the inflammatory response and immunity. Nucleic acid vaccine enters cells and serves as the transcriptional and translational template for protein antigen synthesis. Current FDA-approved vaccines that are used to prevent monkeypox infection include JYNNEOS and ACAM2000. Genios is administered as a live virus that does not replicate effectively in human cells, thus enabling the human body to produce the appropriate antibodies to respond to the monkeypox virus. ACAM2000 is a live vaccinia virus vaccine that is replication competent and also used against smallpox. However, the limited supply and applicability to the population, the unknown side effects and protective effects of the vaccines, as well as the possible future mutations of the monkeypox virus, have forced us towards the development of novel vaccines to address these issues. The last part is about Creative Biolabs monkeypox services and products. Creative Biolabs, a pioneering biotech company founded and led by scientists, is committed to creating high-quality monkeypox virus-related products and services as well as proprietary technology to support research in the areas of fundamental life sciences, biomedical development, industrial synthetic application, and preclinical drug discovery. The services include neutralizing antibody-based anti-monkeypox drug discovery solutions, artificial intelligence-based anti-monkeypox drug discovery solutions, anti-monkeypox drug discovery in vitro assays, anti-monkeypox drug discovery in vivo assays in animal models, and vaccine-based anti-monkeypox drug discovery solutions. The products we offer include monkeypox recombinant proteins and peptides, antibodies, detection kits, plasmids, primers and probes, pseudovirus as well as inhibitors. Please contact us if you have any questions about the monkeypox drug or vaccine discovery. We will provide the best solutions according to your needs.